Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my experience, my personal experience with micro needling. I have talked about this a ton on my Instagram if you follow me, but if you don't, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Morgan and today we're talking about micro needling. So in the past I have had really bad acne. Um, I'll insert a picture here so you can see what my skin looked like in around September. I finally got my acne cleared up, which now that I'm thinking of it, I should have filmed a video on how I cleared up my acne first, but I will be filming that after this video and it'll be going up next week. So be sure to subscribe for that. But today I wanted to share my experience with micro needling. I received a ton of questions and a lot of interest um, on my Instagram. So I wanted to film this video for you guys. And before we get into the video, I just wanted to quickly explain a couple of things. So the first thing is, is I want you to know that I had a positive experience with microneedling. So if you're interested in learning more about that, then definitely watch this video. Um, I just wanted to put that up front. But the second thing is, is I did film a vlog style video um, for when I went to have my microneedling done that day. The the next like few days after it just to document how it was going. So this video is going to be two parts. It's just going to be one video, but I will leave timestamps down below if you want to, you know, skip ahead or whatever. So the first half right after this, I'm going to cut into the vlog and share with you how just kind of like a live look at how everything went. When I had the microneedling done, I just show you like the numbing cream and then afterwards the next day, later that day, just the next like a few days. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna share part two, which is just, I'm gonna talk about my experience, what I thought about it, the process, everything like that. So if you are interested in that, definitely check out the description bar. Also, I have a, an entire blog post written that's gonna go up the same time as this video on everything I'm talking about in this video and just a little bit more. So definitely reference that if you have any questions and please feel free to leave any questions in the comments below. So let's go ahead and get into the vlog portion of the video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today, oh, sorry, I was trying to get the light on my face so you could see my skin. This camera kind of perfects it, but you can definitely see all the discoloration and everything. I'm going to have micro needling done. I'm really scared. Um, I'm not gonna lie, just because I'm not good with pain. Um, but I'm sure it won't be too bad. I have to go pick up my numbing cream from the pharmacy on the way that they'll put on my face to hopefully help with the micro needling. Um, and this is my first time I'm going to my dermatologist. So I'm a little bit nervous, a little bit excited. Um, just because now that I've gotten my skin pretty clear, I think I'm still gonna have spots no matter what, um, but it's nothing compared to what it was. Thank goodness, but I have a lot of scarring, so I want to start working immediately on hopefully clearing up the scarring without damn like messing up with the acne like without breaking myself back out so my dermatologist said that it would be okay if I went ahead and tried micro needling so I'm gonna try that and see what I think how it works obviously the best results come from several treatments but I thought for this vlog I'll just be able to do a few days of my face obviously right now before I don't know that I'm gonna film in there. I know that would be really helpful, but I'm going by myself and it's kind of awkward to be asked like the nurse or whatever, can you film for me? Like it's just, I'm not to that point yet. Maybe next time. But yeah, so and then show my face directly after in the next few days and just share my thoughts on the process as I'm going. I'm just pulling out of the driveway now, so I have a few seconds till I get to the end of my driveway. But anyways, I just wanted to start this vlog and let you know kind of what that process is. I'm gonna go because I have to drive but I just wanted to start this vlog and show a look at my face before. I'm really kind of hungry, so I'm hoping to have a little bit of time to go and get something to eat before I go and have this done too. Okay, you guys, I got a smoothie bowl. I got a chocolate one. It's delicious, but I'm trying to eat it in like two minutes before I go into my dermatology appointment. And I know I'm not gonna have enough time to finish it, and I'm so thirsty. I had no idea. This is one really delicious, but two, whenever I make these at home, they're cold. This one is like room temperature. It's more like pudding rather than like a cold smoothie. So it's just fit kind of weird, but it's really good nonetheless. Hey, you guys, I just got finished. I think this is, um, gel but I'm not gonna wipe it because I haven't washed my hands I this looks horrific right now um but I will talk more about 
how it felt and everything when I get home because I'm in a busy parking lot and people are staring so um you know it's smoothing my face out of course but I look quite red <laughs> okay I just got home I feel kind of bad also my camera keeps perfecting this and I'm sorry you can see how bad it actually looks it looks really bad I'm not gonna lie to you it does hurt right now it doesn't feel like I'm gonna it's not like excruciating pain it just feels it literally feels like sunburn it's super tight it feels dry I haven't touched it I'm trying not to touch my face at all because I don't want to introduce any bacteria but it is super tight it feels like a really bad sunburn like just can't move your face sunburn obviously some spots like here and then on my nose up here and then up here are and then down here there's a few they're pretty pretty bad I want to say she went over those spots a little bit more um with scarring and then this I think is just really irritated because it's just that part of my face that's super sensitive um because she really didn't go over that part that much um but the cheeks and stuff i'm thinking it's from the just going over it a ton because of the scarring so that's how i'm feeling right now i'll keep updating you um i don't want to show you this red face too many times i'll try to wait until it improves a little bit um or at least tonight several hours it's probably been an hour since I've had it done. Some time go by and then show you again. Okay, so it's been a few hours, probably three, three hours, I'm thinking, yeah. And I'm gonna try, oh, that's really cold water. I'm gonna try to take a cotton pad and wipe my face and see how that goes versus washing it. Cause I was thinking that some of this is probably blood. It's probably not all, um, I don't know. I'm thinking I might have been wrong. It's not blood. <laughs> oh, yikes. Okay. No big deal. I thought it was blood, but it's not. So that just means my face is that scarred up. Not scarred up, but whatevered up. Shoot. No joke. Okay, that plan did not go as planned. This is not really wiping off. I thought it would. Let's see, this side is clean. Not really anything coming off. Um, oh, that one hurts. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling it very sore, so I'm gonna wash my hands and apply the cream. Or it's not a cream, it's like a gel. This is what they gave me to put on it. Um, so it's a hydrogel wound dressing. So I'm gonna apply some of this. Okay, so that hurt. I'm washing my hands um, pretty bad. And I'm thinking I'm not gonna be uh, touching my face all that much for the time being. Okay. I'm gonna do my last check-in for the night. I'm trying to get the camera to where it won't focus too much. I mean, not focus, so it will focus and it won't blur and perfect my skin too much. Down here, it looks a little rough. I have officially rinsed my face twice since I had this done and reapplied this gel both times. I just did it before bed to take off I put some mascara on earlier today, which I definitely wouldn't do that next time, but um, I mean before I had it done, but this is just basically a, it says it's a wound dressing without drugs and or biologics, and it's supposed to help your skin from drying out after the procedure. It feels really good when you put it on and then fan it, as does like basically any gel when you put it on your skin after like a burn or something. Honestly, I would describe this as like feeling like a sunburn. My skin is really tight. Um, it's the camera starting to perfect it. Some spots look a little bit worse than others. Like here, 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 here. Um, the one on my forehead is going down a little bit and this one is coming out. And then obviously right here. The ones under here. 
I'm praying for good results. At this point, I'm like feeling like I don't know if I would go through this again, but if my skin does look really good and glowy and, um, you know, if it helps, obviously one treatment isn't going to help with the scarring, but I might would consider having this done again, <laughs> but who knows? We shall see. Hi guys, okay, so it's the next morning. Um, I feel like my face is gonna get perfected. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. I have to see friends today, okay. Show you my face. So I would say, obviously it looks a little rough, but it's very patchy, so I think that like, it's really just the spots that were pretty intense where she must have went over it several times. Um, I would say like for the most part, it's really, the redness isn't that bad. You know, if it wasn't for like these heavy duty spots, I know that's not the right, very concentrated spots would probably be better. If it wasn't for those, I could deal with like slight redness. You know, that's not that big of a deal. Um, diesel. Oh my goodness. So, um, but it's just the really intense spots on the side you can see the lines from where she went up and down and like I said she really focused on the cheekbones those are the areas where I had the most scarring I don't think I really had any scarring on my forehead so I'm not quite sure or in here I'm thinking that is maybe just more of a sensitive area where the bone is closer to my skin so that's you know it is what it is but I definitely you know that I got like a lot of acne on my jawline and things like that so I'm sure these areas are worse just because she focused a ton on that and if you don't have a ton of scarring or maybe you're doing it for fine lines or something it might not be quite as bad i'm still praying that as the day goes on by this evening it won't be quite as red or you know if it was like all over lightness i could handle that and or if it was you know totally clear except for the big spots i could handle that but um i don't have to go anywhere today so that's good but we do have friends coming over for dinner um and i really don't want to scare their little baby <laughs> but it's okay i don't think it's that bad you know it's i really need to get over myself um i'm just not used to seeing it and i think because it's like red and it's, it's not bloody but it's like a wound it's a little bit more scary but there are a lot worse things in life and i did this to myself so we're gonna get on with our day now hi guys okay so i just woke up and it is day three after my peel my skin is looking much better although i still look like um sorry this camera just i don't know why it keeps perfecting my skin um i still have quite a bit of redness in some spots and i am starting to peel around my mouth area i guess that's just where it was I get drier there first um but this is what we're looking like on day three okay so like i mentioned in the intro i'm now going to talk about my personal experience um what it was like receiving the treatment and just i guess kind of like the boring facts not the crazy what my face looked like directly after um but i have a whole lot of notes here so i'm gonna try to be not boring but also be very informative so like i said definitely check out the blog post that i mentioned in the beginning of the video for everything that i'm saying here maybe a little bit more information um but obviously the reason why i did microneedling was because i have a lot of acne scarring i'm not that old i'm 25 um but i do have acne scarring so microneedling is great for um evening out your skin tone and if you have fine lines or wrinkles but i personally did it for the acne scarring and just helping to get rid of any scars that I have, an uneven texture, things like that. So that's why I did it. Um, and I personally think that it really helped my skin with just one treatment. However, it is recommended that you do a series of treatments. I just purchased one treatment just because I wasn't sure if I would like it or if my skin would freak out. So I just did one treatment, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be going back for more. So basically to explain what you can expect or how my experience went is my dermatologist, some dermatologists have the numbing cream at their location. Mine, however, called in a numbing cream to a local pharmacy that is just a little bit stronger for my skin. And so I went and picked that up. I was told to bring it with me to my appointment. I didn't apply it to my face. I brought it with me. They put it on my skin and I sat and waited for they said anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. Mine was probably closer to 40 minutes, if that. It might have really only been 30 minutes, but I know it's really common for them to leave you sitting with numbing cream on for about an hour just to numb your skin because 
it obviously is a little bit painful and the numbing cream helps. So uh, after I sat with the numbing cream on, my dermatologist came in, she wiped it all off, she cleaned my face, wiped it with alcohol, which for me was honestly the most uncomfortable portion of the treatment itself, just because it was like killing me around my nose and my mouth, just breathing in the alcohol was really bad. Um, they clean your face and then the micro needling treatment begins. So it really, for me, only took around 20 minutes. I, it didn't even feel like 20 minutes. Um, it was really fast, the process. So basically it's like a little pin. I had skin pin, which is, that's the name of the brand that did, that my micro needling was done with. And she started on my cheeks and just went up and down my skin in little circular motions. So she just went up and down, back and forth in circular motions. I think she did this side of my face, my chin, this side of my cheek, my forehead, and then my nose last. Um, honestly, I had expected for the nose to hurt the worst just because it's like a really sensitive area, but I found that the pain really came um, where there's bone close to the surface of your skin. So, so where the bone is actually sticking out a little bit further, like the tops of your cheekbones, your forehead, jawline, chin. Those areas were, um, I wouldn't say they were excruciatingly painful, but that was where I felt discomfort. Um, the hollows of my cheeks, my nose, areas like that, not a whole lot of pain, not like, honestly, my nose, I couldn't even feel it at all. It felt, honestly, it felt kind of good in areas like that, but where the bone is closer to the skin, that's where I experienced the most discomfort. So, like I said, it only took about 20 minutes. Once she was done, she wiped off my face. I also forgot to mention when they do do the microneedling, she applied a gel to my skin so that the pen itself would glide along my skin. It just slid really easily over the skin. So after the treatment, they wiped off all of the gel. She cleaned off my face, um, wiped it down with some water, I believe, or maybe like a toner or something, and wiped it all off and applied a another gel that I was given. So in my blog post, I can't think of the name off the top of my head. I think it's called Skin Fuse was the name of the gel that she used on my skin. So she applied a really generous layer of that all over my skin. I was given that to follow up and put on my skin that day and the following day to help hydrate and also ease the discomfort of the treatment. So after it was done, I looked pretty scary. I'll put a picture right here, what you can see. All you have to do is Google microneedling and you can pretty much see what you're gonna look like. My skin is really extremely sensitive, so obviously I get red really easily, but with a lot of needles in your face, you're gonna be red and you're gonna have blood. <laughs> That's just kind of how it is. But overall, once I was finished, it really felt like just a really bad sunburn. It, my face was hot, it burnt. Um, you obviously can't go out in the sun. I think it's great to have these treatments done in the winter time so you're not really going out in the sun. I would have died if I had to go out in the sun. It was sunny that day and just being close to the sun, my face automatically got even warmer than what it already was. But I really didn't find the treatment itself to be that painful for me. All of the pain came after the treatment. I was, my skin was, like I said, really burning. It felt like a really bad sunburn. It did kind of hurt to touch. I did not touch my skin a ton. Um, and I didn't, I, I don't even think, I didn't, did I even wash my face the first day? I might've just rinsed it with water. I was just patting it dry, being really gentle because my skin was sore. But I would say by day three, there was no more soreness at all in my skin. It was just, you know, the first couple of days, it's gonna be sensitive. So as far as the aftercare goes, I applied the gel that they gave me that felt really good on my skin. Like I said, it felt like a bad sunburn, so putting gel felt really good um, on my skin. So the first day, obviously it looked really bad. I wouldn't plan to go anywhere. The for day one or two. Honestly, I would kind of count myself out for about three days for my skin, just because I didn't want to go out in public with my skin looking the way it did. But day one and day two, it looked like a bad sunburn. Around day three, pretty much all of the redness was gone, except for areas that she obviously went over um, multiple times. So there, were, I did have a few spots, like one on my forehead. So the top of my lip looked like I had just been waxed for like three days. <laughs> um, it was pretty bad, but by day three, most of the redness was gone except for in just a few areas. So I did start peeling around my mouth on day three. That's usually where my skin gets the driest, which is kind of strange. Um, and I had already been peeling a little bit there before the treatment, um, but the peeling started around my mouth. And then by day four, um, 
I was like peeling all over. Um, I'm not somebody that does a great job with peeling because I tend to pick at it, which you're not supposed to do. I, I didn't exactly follow the directions and I used an exfoliating cleanser to help kind of get it all off, but I did not resume my normal skincare routine completely until about a week later. I use retinol on a regular and you're not supposed to use that until at least a week after. So I pretty much resumed my normal skincare routine on day three just without the retinol, even though you're not really supposed to. Um, I think everybody gives you different recommendations. So one of the most common questions I got was how expensive was it? It differs everywhere. I paid for one treatment, which obviously if you get a series, it's gonna be more expensive, but you're gonna get a better price per treatment if you break it down in that sense. My treatment cost me $500 for one treatment. It was, I think, worth it, um, but I think you have to weigh those pros and cons and see like how bad is your skin, what, you know, what are your issues, and I think it's worth it to talk to a dermatologist or um, a med spa or wherever you're gonna go just to see if it's an option for you. I also really wanted to mention a product that I have been so obsessed with lately that I really think helped my skin in the recovery process, and I wish I would have started using it a little bit sooner after I had had it done, and that is. Dr. Barbara Sturm's Hyaluronic Serum. I love this. It is, I use it every day. I've used it almost, not all up, but I've used quite a bit of it in a short amount of time just because, honestly, if I had to recommend one skincare product to anyone right now in life, it would be this, and it's so good. I mean, for oily skin, for dry skin, for any kind of skin, it just works amazingly. And I think if you're gonna have micro needling, I would definitely get some kind of serum like this. I can't recommend any other than this because um, this is what I used. But if I had it done again, I would definitely start applying this sooner, even if they told me I wasn't supposed to, just because I think it helped a lot. I'm also really interested in getting PRP done. Um, if you've had that done, definitely let me know your results down below um, in a comment. But I would really like to have PRP done you know, in combination with the microneedling, just because I've heard that that is really good for your skin and it also helps you heal faster. But like I said, overall, after everything was done, my skin looked amazing. I have on makeup today. I was gonna do this makeup free, but of course I got two zits. I have been free of the microneedling for a couple of weeks now, but I can owe these to alcohol that I drank over the weekend. Um, however, my skin was so incredibly glowy. I don't have glowy skin, I have oily skin. My skin was glowy. My skin tone was very even. My skin was so soft. I'm not somebody who like sees a lot of instant results, but I could say that my skin has been looking amazing. I have to stay away from the alcohol though. Um, but seriously, my skin has looked so great. Um, so overall, I had an awesome experience. I am definitely gonna have microneedling done again. I really, really loved it. It is uncomfortable, you're gonna look rough for a few days, but for me, it's worth it. I wish I would have done this before my wedding, um, but my skin was in pretty bad shape then, so I don't think you're supposed to have this done if you have like active breakouts. Um, so I have no idea. I've never had microdermabrasion, but I can honestly say that this is, it's not for the weak. It's a pretty strong treatment, but you do get results. I got great results, um, and if I had bad results, I probably wouldn't have shared it, but I, when I went into it, I didn't think, I thought one treatment, I would give it a go, and then I probably wouldn't like it, so that's why I only bought one treatment, but after trying it, I loved it, and I will definitely do it again. So I feel like I've rambled quite a bit between the vlog and this ending portion, but I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please let me know, um, and if you have any questions, always leave them in the comments below. Check out the blog posts associated with this video because I ramble a lot less in blog posts. I kind of get to the point. So if you're looking for a great summary of everything I said and if I missed anything, it'll be included there. And I also am gonna have a lot more pictures of my skin before, during, after. And you can also check out my Instagram. It's just at Timeless Taste Blog. And I have a highlight that is called Microneedling. And that includes Kind of like a day-by-day -day process of what I was experiencing during that time. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!